I don't fuck with Molly anymore. <laughs> YouTube. Hope your day is going well. Today's video is going to be a inspired lookbook and it's going to be an insecure inspired lookbook. Insecure is just one of those shows um, that I've been a fan of since its inception. So there are two main characters in the show and this lookbook is inspired by both of them. Now neither of them are plus size. I decided to challenge myself to look in my wardrobe and see if I could create looks that were kind of inspired by some of the looks that they had on in the video. Anyways, I think I've rambled on enough. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Now this is a perfect example of how to go monochrome. I'm getting total 80s vibes from this skirt suit. As soon as I saw this look, I knew I had the perfect piece to recreate it, which is this pop suit that I picked up last year from ASOS. There's something more sophisticated and very chic about playing around with colors in the same color family. In keeping with mixing different tones in the same color family, instead of a turtleneck, I opted for this ribbed t-shirt that I recently picked up. To finish things off, I went with a pair of pumps because she also styled the look with a pair of pumps. What do you think about this look? Would you wear it? Would you not? Is it a little too 80s for you? Let me know in the comments below. So this look is actually inspired by two different looks I saw in Issa this season. The first look is pictured here. She has on like a textured or ribbed fitted tee with a really fun midi skirt. So she also had a similar look, I believe in episode two or episode three. So with that in mind, I remember that I had this striped skirt in my closet that I picked up a couple of years ago. I decided to pair it again with this rib top in tan. Honestly, this rib top is a must have because it goes from work to weekend beautifully. It's one of those pieces that you can wear with a pair of jeans and you can also wear with a pencil skirt or wear with a suit. And I feel like it's a must have for everybody's wardrobe. And to finish things off, I went with my pouch bag, which you guys have seen a gazillion times at this point. So this next look is super cute. It's a perfect date night look. Molly has on this cute little bustier and a pair of you know, distressed or slightly distressed mom style jeans. I love all the flirty elements in this look. I love the pearl earrings. I love that she went with longer hair here. Just everything about this look is just perfect for date night. I didn't have a white corset like she did, but I did have this, um, this corset top, which you guys saw in my date night lookbook. So I decided this time to dress the corset top up by tucking it into my favorite pair of distressed, I don't even know what, straight leg jeans. To finish things off, I went with my wrap square toe sandals and, and my bamboo Lilith inspired bag. Fine Molly style, I would say it's very young professional chic. Her style tends to be a little bit more streamlined. So 
So this look is definitely very reminiscent to Issa's style, especially in previous seasons. It's giving me that thrift chic look, especially with the printed silk over shirt. If you have been following me for some time now, you will remember this shirt dress. And then I, of course, paired it with a pair of black biker shorts and a black sports bra. She has the look paired with a pair of Converse's or at least a pair of white sneakers that look like Converse's. However, I, I felt like I preferred the look with a pair of sandals. So let me know in the comments below which way you prefer. Do you prefer it with the sneakers or do you prefer it with the sandals? If you're someone who's been wanting to try the whole biker short trend and you weren't really sure how to style it without overly exposing yourself, this is a perfect way. Just throw on a big shirt and you'll be good. So this look is a combination of a couple of outfits that inspired me from episode 7. In this episode, she is on vacation with her new boo. And I decided to pick out some of my favorite pieces from that episode and create one look out of it. So I started off with these white linen pants that are also a recent um, purchase. I will have it linked down below. And I put some flowers in my hair because there was a couple of scenes in that episode where she had um, tropical flowers in her hair. And then I paired it with the same ribbed t-shirt. And then to finish things off, I went with a brown tote bag. What I like about this look is that you can wear this in the city and you could totally wear this on vacation as well. Again here you see Molly's minimal style come to life in the crisp whites, very chic, very elevated. Here you see Issa kind of walking into her boss nest. That's really what I grasped when I saw this scene. She's wearing a, um, she's wearing a pantsuit with a mesh printed top. And I love the fact that they went for a mesh printed top instead of like a silk cami because it still allowed Issa to infuse some of her, her quirky, um, eclectic style. So I looked in my wardrobe, I opted for a colored suit over a neutral suit because I felt like it embodied the spirit of the look. To finish things off, I also went for a mesh turtleneck style top through, and then I threw on a pair of black pumps and then I went for Issa's signature accessory which is a pair of gold hoop. So let me know what you think about this look. Do you like colored suits or do you stick to neutrals when shopping for workwear? season finale is this weekend and we have been talking all about the show on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, if you're not following me there, there will be a link to my Instagram in the description box as well. Now if I could sum this season up into three words, it would be Issa versus Molly. Whose team are you on? Although this lookbook was inspired by both Issa and Molly, I'd love to know which character style is your favorite. Definitely drop a comment for us down below.
And if you like this styling video, make sure to check out this video. And of course, check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be in the comments down below. Come down and join the conversation.